Hey everyone, it's Leviathan here again. This here is my intro video to explain to you guys what I normally talk about for my videos that I make from this point on to help you guys out. My Leviathan universe is very prodigious. I have 15,000 plus characters and creatures that are accounted for as compared to the infinite number in this infinite onion of a multiverse. The five main heroes are notably the five most focused characters in my Leviathan universe. There's Madame Shear, founder and owner of Blader Tech Industries. There's Dentrini, who's the biological granddaughter of Satana, founder and ruler of Tartarus. And she herself is also um, the director of the Paranormal Defense. Pym is a Lunarian, which is an alien species that's currently endangered after their home star exploded. Um, Colossa is the, uh, the granddaughter of Goddess, who is the founder and leader of the Alpha Gods and creator of the Cosmos. Colossa herself has infinite growing capacity, can shoot nuclear beams from her hands, can break the fourth wall and other powers. And Kyjericus is Queen of the Mutants who's basically a woman who was mutated into a giant reptilian kaiju woman, who now protects people from kaiju-based threats. I have all of this elaborate information I could, could tell you and such, because they are all really impressive, and I really recommend that you gotta check these stuff out, because it, it will blow you away, and you know who Stanley is? Stan Lee, the guy who created Spider-Man, the Fantastic Four, the X-Men, the Avengers, and all that stuff. I am planning to be as blessed as he was. And I really hope that this is the right reality. And if you guys want, I really hope that I could be able to succeed with my creations. Yeah, so basically it's really impressive stuff, and I made all of them, and I have to make it up to them. You know, because I made them exist, and I have to make it worth it for them. And if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, comment down below, and share if you want. You know how it is. And I hope you guys have a decent understanding. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Enjoy. Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again. And to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high-functioning autistic. I'm obsessed with fiction. And I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stanley did. Today I was feeling a bit stressed about the video that I should be making tomorrow, so I figured I should make one today just to get over with it. You know how it is with, like, stressful parts of jobs and such, and having to pull through. It's irritating, yes, but ultimately it's worth it, supposedly. For this video, I'm going to introduce three things to you guys, and I hope you guys enjoy. Sea Worm. Real name, inapplicable. Length, 400 to 500 feet. Weight, unrevealed. Status, villain, and worm variant. Base, 7 seas, default earth. Intelligence, 2 brains. Behavior, vicious and relentless. It'll do anything to eat and spawn. Lethality. Highly deadly to most things in or near the waters. Weaknesses. Whirlpool, which by the way is a, is a sea monster I've introduced recently, just so you guys know, is their greatest fear. Powers. The sea worm has great size and strength, sharp jagged teeth, can breathe underwater for months, can camouflage itself, and can hunt its prey via sonar. It travels in groups of 5 to 10 members. Eyes, blackish turquoise. Hair, white fins and jaw spikes. Origin. During their evolution, a group of worm variants ended up residing in the oceans, which led to them evolving into sea worms. Due to their aquatic lifestyle, a sea worm hunts its prey using sonar, along with using its ability to camouflage for better hunting, and due to their serpentine firm, they're easily mistooken for sea serpents. It also has a low gestation process, giving birth to no more than 10 offspring, maximum. 
though it's mostly successful at its traditional lifestyle that never entered the dark parts of the oceans for fear that Whirlpool would find them. Other than that, the sea worm has no other challenges in life. Costume. It's covered with a set of camouflaging scales. Team, solitary, or in small groups. Mortal inspiration, graboids, and sea serpents. Here's the next character, just so you know. Insect. Real name, Dr. Izzy Quentin. Height, 5 feet 11.5 inches, varied. Weight, 212 pounds, varied. Status, hero, an ally of I. Base, altered dimension, mobile. Intelligence, four brains. Behavior, flirtatious and intellectual. She always wants to be beautiful. Lethality, she can give you a horrible sting. Weaknesses, fire, and toxins. Powers, she has hornet-based capabilities, including a stinger, antennae, a long proboscis, acute senses, mass alteration, a high intellect, and wings that allow flight. She can emit pheromones to control victims. Will control others, you know. She's also a good guesser and can command swarms of hornets to attack anyone who threatens her. Eyes, blue and compound. Hair, deep red and luscious. Origin. In the altered dimension, Dr. Izzy Quentin was an average woman with a profession for insects. One day, Izzy slipped and fell into a container of mutated hornets, and when she awoke, she found that she developed the following features. A pair of long antennae, compound eyes, black and green striped skin, four legs, a long proboscis, and a huge hornet-like abdomen. Shocked of her transformation, Inzek tried to get help from others, but eventually helped I, who is a character covered from head to toe with eyes, with a fight against Bloodlord, who is the evil counterpart of the Master, who is the the founder and leader of the Blue Man Clan. Bloodlord is the leader of the Blood Clan in the Alter Dimension. Since then, Inzek had become fast friends with I. Costume. She recently wears a latex suit that matches her skin. Team, solitary, and other heroes. Virtual inspiration, Dark Stalkers, QB. Here's the last character, just so you know. Prehistoric. Real name, Patricia Hammond. Height and weight varied. Status, hero, and master of prehistory. Base, United States, mobile. Intelligence, three brains. Behavior. Woeful and protective, she'll always protect the innocents. Lethality, extremely dangerous to most opponents. Weaknesses, depends on the form. Powers, she can instantly shapeshift herself into any prehistoric animal she can think of, along with their powers and weaknesses. When not in her default form, she can communicate telepathically. Eyes, yellowish green, default. Hair, reddish auburn and shorter length, default. Origin. Since childhood, Patricia Hammond always wanted to be a paleontologist. However, when she was unable to get the job of her dreams, Patricia eventually encountered Whitney, who is a uh, an innocent heroic witch, just so you know, who infused her with the power to morph into any prehistoric animal while still having her mind untouched. Soon, prehistoric learned that a gang in uh, like a criminal gang in New York City known as the Getty Gang was attempting to kill Mayor Dales, the mayor of New York, in a new attempt to abolish prejudice. After defeating them, Prehistoric was marked as a new hero and since became fast friends with Whitney and other heroes. You know? The Getty Gang are basically some gangsters who want to end prejudice but they do so by harming those who are, like, who they deem unworthy and such, you know? Costume. In her human form, she wears nothing official, while in one of her prehistoric forms, she simply wears nothing, just no need whatsoever. Team Solitary, or with other heroes, or inspiration, prehistory. Well... I hope those characters and the stuff affiliated with them are comprehensible. Uh, 
I really hope that my uh, anniversary yesterday was decent as well, you know? It's 15 years of me knowing about Susan. Very celestial. No questions asked. You know? I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys want, you could like, subscribe, comment down below, and share if you want. You know how it is. I hope it's worth it for you guys and such. I hope you guys have a decent rest of the month, and until next time, in transmission.